Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Joy and this is Yoga with Joy. We start lying down and it starts, yeah, fa fairly gentle, but we kind of just, yeah, go through. When we, when we get up, we really kind of get up. So there's not much seated practice at all. Um, but yeah, see how it is for you. And yeah, to let me know in the comments how you like it, because it's a, it's, for me, it's a bit different. And please don't forget your props if you need them. So there are times when we need blocks because we do half moon posture in it where we come up. It's a balance, like a standing balance. Um, and um, blocks can be really useful. Obviously, blanket or cushion, things like that. We don't need a strap today. So, yeah, look forward to practicing with you. See you soon. Oh, radiant sun, pure consciousness, flaming orb of truth and bliss. Remove the veil so I can see. Illuminate my heart, awaken me. Make your way to lying on your back with your feet and your knees hip width apart. If you wish to use a block to measure how much that is, it is about the width of a block. So if you have one available or a big book or something like that, then you can use that. That can be handy. Or a very kind of squidgy ball. You can pop in between there as well. Okay. So lying on your back, gently exhaling and rocking your pelvis. So exhale up your pelvic floor, your abdominal muscles, inhale, when they're up there, and then exhale back down again. So you're, it's like you're just tilting your hips up, and your navel is going back towards your spine. And then exhale back down. Breath in, inhale up. Exhale back down. So it's just your sacrum area lifting and pressing your, if you have a curvature in the back of your spine, you're pressing that back into the mat. If you notice your toes are clinging on to the mat, then just release and relax your toes. And then begin to move up a little bit more so that you're bringing yourself up to your shoulder blades. Breath in, exhale down. Your lumbar spine will be gently placed back onto the mat. Taking a breath in and then exhale. Bring yourself up to your shoulder blades, so this area, so you're Lifting up about half your thoracic spine as well off the mat now. Breath in and then exhaling down. Lovely. Good. <laughs> it's gentle flowing movement. Breath in to, to prepare and then bringing yourself up to your shoulders. Breath in and then all of your vertebrae. Imagine you're placing one at a time back onto the mat. And again, exhale up. Breath here, so breathe in. And then exhale, your hands up above your head. So your arms are going above the head. Breathing in. And then exhale, lowering your arms down and your, vert your spine down at the same time. Inhale. Exhale, moving yourself up. So lifting up all the vertebrae of your spine, your vertebra. And then breath in and then exhale. Your hands above the head. Breathing in bringing both down at the same time really gently one more time with this inhale and then exhale gently peeling your spine off the mat breath in and then exhale lifting up the arms 
Inhaling and then exhaling down. Lovely. Nice, good. And drawing the knees into the chest. And having a little rock from side to side. Bringing your right knee into your chest and your left leg is away and flexed, the foot is flexed. Drawing in your knee, inhale, and then exhale the knee in. Brilliant. And then bringing your um, right hand onto your knee and opening up the hip. So you're placing your left hand on the left hip just to stabilize it. And you're opening up your right hip a little bit. And breathe into this for just, just a couple of breaths. <sighs> Lovely gentle breaths, that's good. And then exhale forward and then over to the side. So the left hand is on the right knee and bringing it over to the side. Loosen your foot now so you can just let your foot fall over and coming over into the twist. The head can move over to look at your right hand roughly. And then gently bring it back up and release your foot down. Bring up the left leg, so the knee is pointing the ceiling, and then bring your right leg over, so you're coming into the number four legs or leg cradle it gets called. So your ankle is on your thigh. Bring your hands behind your left thigh and gently breathe in your legs. So exhaling in your legs. Inhale away, so flexing the right foot. You could always have your hand over the top of the shin as well. That makes it a little bit stronger. Deep breaths, lovely. And then releasing down and bringing both legs out straight and resting here for a moment, feeling into how that is. And then keeping your right leg straight, flexing the foot and bringing in your left knee. Lovely deep breaths, that's great. So exhaling in the knee. Inhale as it moves away a little bit. And then coming into the open hip, the Pajva, the sideways. So you're bringing your left hand on the left knee and your right hand is stabilizing the right hip. You could always use your left upper arm to stabilize so you can hold yourself there. Really breathe into the hip as it's opening. It's not a massively strong opener, hip opener, but you might feel it. So just see how that is. It'll be different for everyone. And then bring the knee forward and then over to the other side. So right hand on left knee and relax the right leg so that you can come over, keeping your shoulder as much as possible down on the mat. Stretching out the left arm. So the left shoulder on the mat. Deep breaths in the twist. And then bring yourself back up, planting the foot down and then bring up your right leg. So the knee is pointing the ceiling and then coming into the leg cradle. So left ankle is on right quad muscle. So bring your hands through 
and then you can hold behind your the hands behind your right thigh so remember you're going through your legs your left arm is going through the legs and exhaling the legs towards you your left foot is flexed this one can just wobble around doing whatever it wants <laughs> and then you can also come onto the shin if you want a bit extra Deep, lovely breaths, that's great. And releasing the legs down, that's good. And then bringing your knees into the chest, having a little rock. You can have your hands behind your knees. Ooh, you can find yourself back and plough if you're feeling that way inclined. <laughs> That's not recommend if it, recommended if it's something you don't do. Going this far back is just if it's something you're used to doing. Okay, then coming up so that you're in Navasana, the boat posture. I'll just scoot myself back a little bit. Looking forward, straight back, really strong on the belly. So either keep your hands here behind your knees or straighten your arms if you wish if you know how to do it and to straighten your legs you can I actually can't do that so have your hands release your hands if yeah if you can and then your legs if you can deep breaths and then bringing the feet together and folding forward the knees apart Deep breaths. And then bring yourself back up into Navasana, the boat. Really holding in your abdominal muscles. And then bring yourself forward and releasing down. And bring yourself up. Great. And one more time forward. So really breathing in through the nose and out through the nose when you're practicing. And when you're in Navasana, really nice and strong in your abdomen, looking after your back. And then looking up, crossing the legs, bring yourself over, bring your hands down just in front of your shoulders, turning your toes around and coming back into half downward dog. So that means you've got bent knees, tucking in your tummy and lifting up onto tiptoes into a cute dog. Doesn't mean a sweet dog, <laughs> an adorable dog. It means you're in a cute angle. And then exhaling down one heel at a time, walking out your dog. And then gently widen the feet so that now your feet are the width of the mat. And downward dog. And walk towards your hands. You can bend your knees. So it's like you're a primate with your legs wide. And then coming up to the front of the mat with your legs fairly wide. They could be a bit bent knees if you want. And then inhale, have a little look up, lift up your toes. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, have a little look up. Exhale, fold forward. And then we'll bring your right foot so that it's in the center of the mat and your fingers are like at a tripod 
with that right foot, no hands, and then the left foot behind, so it's heel to heel alignment, and your back foot is in about 45 degrees. Or is that 90? Oh my goodness, it's 45, sorry. My math's not so good. Okay, so having a little look forward, and here we're in pyramid pose. Inhale, and then exhale, fold forward, stretching out this right leg here, the back of the leg. Tucking in your tummy as you inhale up. Exhale, tuck in your tummy, making room. Bending your knee for a moment, bring your hands to your hips, bring yourself back up, clasping behind, opening up the chest. Exhale, fold forward. And then lifting your hands up above the head if they want to go that way. If your toes are really clinging into the mat, just lift them up. Relax them down. Lifting through the arch of the feet, especially the back foot, so it's not collapse, you're not collapsing into the arch. And then sliding, bring the hands back to the sacrum, and then sliding the hands down the foot back into the tripod, lifting up the back leg. So you're in a preparation for either warrior three or for half moon. And placing, we're gonna go into half moon, but only if you feel comfortable doing it, either stay here or, or opt out, and then lift up the left hand and flex the left foot. So we're coming to half moon. Now, if you need to, you can use a block underneath here. That's blocks are really useful under here. So placing your the block there. If it's feeling like it's too far down. Otherwise, come up here in half moon. And then bringing your foot back down. Bring your hands back to the hips and gently bring yourself up. Woo, that was strong. And then bringing the leg, the back leg, a bit further, a bit further back so you're ready for warrior one. Heel to heel alignment. Facing forwards. Again, you face this way with warrior one. Bend the knee so you've got knee over ankle. Lift up the toes, place them down. I'll pop up my tutorial up here I'm on warrior, for warrior one I've got. Bring your hands to your hips. Not hips, to your heart. <laughs> Sorry. Hands to the heart. And then lifting up. So either your hands can be touching still or bring them so that you've got more room between for your shoulders. You can bring them so that they're just parallel. Lifting up your pelvic floor. Okay, lifting up your tummy. And then hands to the heart. And then bring the hands back down either side of the leg or the foot. Turning round so that it's like you're in a low lunge now. And then bringing your leg underneath, and we're coming into pigeon, kapotasana. So straighten your back leg. So your left leg is lovely and straight. Your right leg is underneath you. If you need a blanket, you can use it. So the blanket would go on your right hip. So it's the right leg is bent, and then you put the blanket in here on your right hip. Inhale, open up. Exhale, folding forward. Deep breaths, allowing the gentle relaxation here. And you can always do a mudra here where you put your hands together and have your fingers apart and then place your thumbs onto your third eye. That's lovely. Or you can stack your fists here as well or use blocks or anything like that, cushion or anything to lean on. Then 
Gently bring yourself up. Inhale, opening up. Lovely. Exhale, bringing your back leg to meet the, to meet the, um, oh sorry, the right leg to left leg. And then coming up onto, have a break here if you need to. Let's have a little squidge around, a little break. Otherwise you can bring your legs back and kind of walk out your legs a little bit. So you're not actually in downward dog. And then bring yourself into plank. So this is really strong, strong in plank. Lifting up your pelvic floor and your abdomen. And either you can come down if you want a strong practice like this and then bring yourself onto the mat. Otherwise, you can lower the knees down and bring yourself down. Oh, that's lovely. Take a breath in and then inhale up into either a small cobra, like a low cobra down here, or into a high cobra here. Your elbows are in at your sides and your shoulders are relaxed and away from the ears. Breath in. Exhale down. Take a breath in. And then exhale back to downward dog. And then walk the legs wide in downward dog. And then gently walk your feet towards the front of the mat. And just be here for a moment in Uttanasana, wide leg Uttanasana. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling, looking up and then exhaling, folding forward. That's lovely. Okay, then place your fingers or your hands in front, um, a little bit further in front, and then bring your foot so that they're in between the hands in the middle of the mat. That's your left foot this time, because we did the right last time. And then bring the right leg behind so that it's heel to heel alignment, and it's about 45 degrees, the right leg. And we're coming into, this is pyramid. So inhale up and then exhale, fold forward. If you need to bend your knee at all, please do. Or if you need blocks, anything like that, to breeze involve blocks. Really breathing into the stretch. And bending your knees, bring your hands to the hips, bring yourself up. Bring your hands behind you, clasping, opening the chest. A little back bend and folding forward. Lots of deep breaths as you stretch your shoulders, really nice. And bring the hands to the sacrum. And slide your hands down to your foot. Bring the fingers or your hands into a tripod. And I actually come up on my fingers personally. And then bring your right leg, lovely and straight and flex the foot. So you can either stay here and then take a break when you're ready. Or you can plant your hand, put blocks underneath your hands is another option, or you can stay on fingers like me. Oh, <laughs> I'm having a wobbly day. And then lift up. So the right hand and the right leg are up. If you notice your left foot is clinging on for dear life, just, just gently relax. Lift and then relax the toes. Half moon. Ada Chandrasana. Chandra is the moon in Sanskrit. Ada is half. And Asana is posture. And then bringing your hands back down. 
bring down your back leg and gently by bending your knees move yourself back up Ooh, strong on the leg that one isn't it and then so bring your back foot a little bit further back so we're coming into the warrior one posture so it's kind of it's wrist to ankle alignment here if you think about that roughly I don't know what's going on with mine and so your knee is over the ankle your foot is in as much as it can be so about 45 degrees of pos and lifting up the toes relaxing the toes down lifting up from the arches of your feet especially in the back foot bring the hands to the heart lifting up facing forward remember you're forward here and hands are either together or a little bit or their shoulder width apart. <sighs> Rolling back on the back foot, from the outside edge of the back foot. <sighs> tummy in, tummy tucked. There we are then, hands back to the heart. Lovely, bringing your hands either side of the front foot and then coming into pigeon. So. You're bending your knee and your shin is facing the mat or the front of the mat. So if you're very flexible, your shin might be in line with the front of the mat, but it's probably not. It's probably off at an angle. I like to do it off an angle. So bring your right leg lovely and straight. You can kind of like straighten it so that helps stretch out your right front of the hip. Inhale, lifting up. Opening up like a pigeon, lovely chest. And then exhale, folding forward. Deep breaths and remember you can stack your fists like this or the mudra like this. Or blocks or anything like that. And then gently bring yourself up. That's nice. And bring your legs to meet each other and have a little walk so that you're not in down dog, but you're kind of in a strange plank variation, <laughs> walking out your legs. And then coming back to plank, lovely and strong. You can lower your knees down, remember, and bring yourself down. Or you can do chaturanga where you bring yourself down like this. And then bring yourself onto the mat. Hold your elbows in the side and your hands are by your shoulders. Inhale, either low cobra or high cobra. And then relaxing the shoulders away from your face, your neck, the ears. And exhale down. Coming back onto your knees. And then back into child. You can widen the knees slightly to make room for belly. And then gently rest back in child posture. Balasana. And then bring yourself back up onto kneeling. Bring your hands to your heart. And just take a moment of silence here, either in kneeling or cross-legged. Hands at the heart. And thank yourself for this short practice today. Short but strong. <laughs> and thank you. Namaste. Thank you for taking this time to practice me with me today. It's been so lovely to have you. Always a pleasure. Um, I can always, yeah, I can feel 
can feel you all practicing with me <laughs> in the future. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoy my videos, it really helps if you subscribe. So you can subscribe down below. Um, and of course, like this video or, and also making any comments is just really encouraging and lovely just to hear how it was for you and if you'd like any other videos. So, yeah, I take requests. Um, but basically, mainly just lots of love and keep looking after yourself and just keep spreading, spreading the love as well. Take care. Flaming orb of truth and bliss, remove the veil so I can see.